Yo, what is up, YouTube? My name is Aaron, and today we are playing on the map. Uh, I think it's called Notch DTR, and I do have to say, this is probably the best Call of Duty World at War custom zombies map. Now, it's not my favorite, but I do have to say it's the best, and it could be the closest thing to something Treyarch would actually produce for World at War. I like this map better than Shinonuma, and that's kind of... I think at the beginning of the game it says like miles away from Shinonuma. So it's supposed to be the same type theme. Like it's supposed to be a house and uh, like almost like a little house and a bar. That's what this map is. And a little bit more than that. Uh, connected and somewhere in like the swamp area and the woods where Shinonuma was found. Now I like whenever people do this. They make the legend real. They make stuff added on to what Treyarch has already been famous for. Because Shinonuma was a pretty good map. Now, this map has the PPSH on the wall. And any map that has the PPSH on the wall has to be a golden map in my eyes. And it's so brilliant what they did with the layout. Like, there's a tunnel that connects the building that I'm standing in front of all the way to the house. And the way that the doors work is you don't really go up to them and purchase the door. That's the only thing I think Treyarch would do differently in this map. But... There's like these little boxes everywhere that allows you to purchase and then it opens up a door somewhere else. It's usually a ways away from the door that you open. So there's tons of exploring. I think the creators wanted us to go every inch on this map and really look at all the time that they put into it. There's so much stuff to this map, whether it be traps, uh, secret doors, secret passages, the PPSH on the wall. Pack-a-Punch, even Pack-a-Punch is downstairs and it was very hard to get to it because the box that opened Pack-a-Punch or the little thing on the wall, I don't think I'll open any because we pretty much opened the entire map. The only thing we could not find is a way to open up to the teleporter. I do think we'll be able to go to the teleporter. Haven't played this map again since then. This is just the first try and maybe there's something you got to shoot on the wall, but it is a brilliant map and I really have to shout out to whoever made it. Now, this is going to get me into the topic of Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. I want to be the person that is known for uploading Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. I want you and your friends to be sitting there and like, where do we go? And you tell your friend, I don't know, let's see what Aaron 1-1 just played. And then you see the maps that I play on, and then you can play on them too. Now, in Black Ops 3, I'll be sure to link every single map down below, because I think there's going to be a wider audience getting on Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies for the PC. Now, I don't know for sure, this is not confirmed, but I am going to be trying to make a custom PC for $500, and just upload that and that's something more reasonable than one thousand dollars I know a thousand dollars is way too expensive for someone just the game and unless you're doing something else on that computer like making videos such as uh, like I do and doing all your other daily tasks on that computer a thousand dollars seems to be like a pretty expensive taste you know so maybe five hundred dollars a little bit more to most people's budgets because consoles are right around that price too so Hopefully I'm going to be trying to build that and to get more people into Black Ops 3 on the PC. I think it would be so fun to actually find lobbies and actually find matches with people playing custom games. Now, there are tons and tons of people that play World of War daily. Honestly, I think it could be the most PC Call of Duty played game out there. And it's just because it's so fun. And as you can see... It's 2016, and I'm still playing Call of Duty World of War. When's the last time you can honestly say you booted up World of War in your Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3? Just take that into consideration. I just, I love this game. The game came out in 2008, and I think the mods came out into about 2009 or late to, actually, yeah, it would have came out in 2009. So, the mods have been there for a while. I'm still playing it. Tons of people are still playing it. And it is so fun. I cannot wait till Black Ops 3 upgraded graphics, more uh, internal storage for the map. Like, there's actually a problem with World of War. You are limited to the things that you do inside of custom zombies. Like, you can't have so many uh, textures. You can't have so many objects. You have to play the game 
with a certain like there's just a head limit you can't do some things and that causes maps to not be as good well i mean i say that but they're the best they can be for world of war and i cannot wait until black ops 3 comes out because i'm sure we are going to see some amazing zombie maps in black ops 3 i am so pumped for it hopefully you guys are too like i said my channel's channel you go to for custom zombie content my name's aaron and i'll see you tomorrow with a brand new commentary